lions. Speaking of uh, instigating war, it's starting to look like America's forcing Russia hand into war. I'm starting to be really suspicious of the U.S. involvement in the Ukraine situation. Then uh, they seem f far too eager. They seem eager, but I don't think Russia's going to uh, alliance. I don't think Russia's going to uh, take the bait. They won't. The only way Russia hits Ukraine is if Ukraine starts killing off the citizens of Dunbar okay eastern ukraine if they start going in there and start killing people russia has the right to go in to defend the um, civilian population okay but i don't think they're going to take the bait if ukraine invades which i don't think they're stupid enough they're already having people uh soldiers uh defect from the front lines in Ukraine, people are already going. You guys are your fucking minds. We're not going to die for the oligarchs and for the Biden administration, right? NATO countries have already said they're not going to join in. No effing way they're going to join in. Germany is one of them, right? Canada, even though they've sent troops, they're dumbass Trudeau, said, oh, rhetoric, rhetoric, rhetoric. Canada will not go to war in the Ukraine, not, not by a long shot. So this kicks into the Federal Reserve interest rates and uh, digital current. This fits into everything, by the way, right? They're playing on a lot of fronts right now. Uh, I think they're playing a game, right? Oil has gone through the roof right now, sitting at like $92 a barrel. So the oil ty uh, tycoons, the Wall Street and stuff like this, they're liking it, right? But when oil goes to the these levels, especially if it breaks a hundred dollars right the economy is going to grind to a halt like <laughs> crush and burn right and as soon as that happens man you're going to see a lot more shit kick up right <laughs>